Now for the event that had me all up in my feelings, the ladies final at the 2021 Gun Premio de Italia. Um, all of my predictions for the top eight were correct. However, other than the top two Russians, the Russians being one and two, I got everyone else wrong. Um, Anna Shabakova won. Like I said in my prediction video, Anna was going to win because she had to win. And also, there was no way that Itubretsi and Danny G were going to let her lose again to Maya. So, Anna won. Um, Maya Kromik came in second. She won the silver medal here. Maya landed two clean quad toe. I think this is another step for her towards Beijing. If Maya can have both a clean short and a clean long with maybe two quad toe and a quad sal, I'm really beginning to see the light for Maya, especially now with news that Alexandra Sasha Chuseva is out with a foot injury. I mean, this, this may be an opportunity for Maya. We'll have to wait and see how things play out. But I think continuing to be clean and consistent will definitely help in her narrative. And then the bronze medal, Leona Hendricks. What a pleasant surprise, winning her first Grand Prix medal in spectacular fashion. The fact that it's just her brother coaching her really makes what Hendrick has achieved that much more impressive. Her long was really good. Miss Hendrick was sparkling on the ice, and you know I love a good sparkle. Leona delivered the program with patience and conviction. Her triples were big, powerful, dare I say womanly. They just had life to them. I hope she can keep this up because if she can, she might be able to make headways at European, but we would have to wait and see. And fourth place was my uh, Miyahara. Another fourth place finish for her. She is really making that solid, clean, consistent skater narrative stick. I feel like the Japanese Federation are really going to have to consider her for that Olympic team. I'm so glad that Maya was able to skate clean to make a comeback. I really hope she continues to be healthy and continues to deliver this, um, this season. And then, Satoko Miyahara, forever number one in my heart, my tiny queen. I had Satoko in seventh place because you know those jumps, those jumps. However, she gave us another great performance and finished in fifth place. There is a reason why the fans, why we fight so hard for Satoko to get the PCs, the PCS that she deserves. And it's because figure skating is not just a sport. It is an art form. And at its best, it's supposed to move us. Satoko skating, her performances moves us. I'm not sure if Satoko can make the team, but regardless of whether she makes the team or not, I am just enjoying her on this artistic skating journey. So grateful for Satoko. Um, next was Miss um, Yelen Kem. She had the best triple lutz triple toe loop of the event. Height, speed, air position, ice coverage. Everything is first rate. rate. When her jumps are on, Kem has one of the best techniques in the business. Um, a sixth place finish here is not ideal for her. However, I don't think it really damaged her that badly. I think it's just giving her more time to prepare herself for nationals. Um, then on seventh was um, Sofia Semenduova. I was so happy to see her fight um, to move from ninth to seventh. She didn't have a great short program. Um, and there were some mistakes in the long. However, she fought. And as I've said before, there is something that I like about Sophia. She's got so much spunk and attitude. I just like her so much. And then Mishin. Mishin is an entire mood by himself. He really is one of a kind. And there's just something so special about that entire camp. And then in eighth place, my drama for your mama diva. <laughs> the one that I look forward to so much. Miss Ensu Lim, looking fabulous in the face. Someone get this young woman a makeup contract because Miss Ensu is about that face. 
Unfortunately, the jumps were not there today. This outing did not help her chances at making the team. I hope Ensu can get it together and do better in the long at NHK, but this was not the outing. And it is so unfortunate because <sighs> there's just so much there, so much talent, so much ice presence, so much charisma, so much it factor. Even when she's not performing well, I still want to see Ensu because she's got so much to her. It's just that the, the rest of it, the jumps, just not there. But it could be. I feel like it could be. We'll just have to wait and see. Anyhow, after this event, I've decided to ignore the Georgia scores. There, it's obviously a joke, and if I keep focusing on their scores, it's going to get me in my feelings, and I won't be able to enjoy the skating like I want to. I'm just going to enjoy the skating. You know, um, as for the placement, I'm just going to ignore it. But what about you guys? What did you think of the placement of the ladies in this event? Did, were you guys also in your feelings like me after the short program? Let me know in the comments below.